Hi everyone, welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Xie Le. Right now I'm at the Las Vegas Convention Center for the annual Consumer Electronic Show or CES. And this is coming to you live in 4K or ultra high definition quality live streaming on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our Twitter account. And we're very excited to show you some latest and coolest tech trends here at the CES brought to you by some leading Chinese tech companies. And right, by, right behind me, you can see some Segway of scooters and other cool vehicles. This is the brand um, specialized in personal electric transportation. This is Segway 9Bot. And today we're very happy to have its staff, Julie, to join us at this live broadcast. Welcome, Julie. Hi, say hi to our global viewers. Oh, hello everybody. All right, welcome. So, um, what are the must-sees at Segway 9 Box this year? Yeah, sure. Um, so, if you know that this big guy here is our Segway s -Bot. It's a first-class personal transporting car that will take you from place A to place B in comfort and in style. So, that means I can sit in there uh -huh. and it can get me to where I want to go. Yeah, of course. It has the signature like with self-balancing technology in it. So basically, you just sit back and relax and use that little joystick and you push forward, go forward, you push backward, go backward. And you can, you know, kind of change directions with that. And it also has a built-in removable tablet. You can use that to remote control it as well. So, can I have a little try? Well, it's currently that. Because so many people were like trying it out, it's like a little tired, so we're like let it rest a little bit. Got it, got it. So we can, can, uh, can I sit on it uh, yeah, to feel? Course. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. And I'll uh, grab your helmet. Okay. Okay, come through. Sure, sure. Yeah. Always guarantee you are safe before you travel. Yes, so as that way, we make sure all the products we build are like at the safety of the riders in mind. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So, okay, show me how to, how yeah. to move it. So, basically, there's a button here. Um, you just press it and then it will level up. It will self balance a little bit with you in it. And once it gets steady, you are ready to go. And here's the joystick. Basically, push forward, or roll forward, push back, or roll back. You can make you can even spin. Like 360 with that. Yeah, like 360. Wow. And this is like the, you know, the tablet. Take it out and just slide it in. Let's push it. So, uh, again, what, what is the tablet for? Yeah, so basically you can, you know, sit in it and just, you know, control the machine with the tablet. And also you can take it with you. It will be remote controllable. Basically, you can have this, you know, as for driving to you, or you can park the as for with it. So say I'm already on the road mm -hmm. and uh, an object is coming at me, I'm uh, about to hit the brake. Mm -hmm. How can I do that? It basically just shift this back. Oh, yeah. so it'll like, uh, slowly slow down? And no, if you stop. shift it hard enough and do it kind of quickly, it will do like a sharp brake. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, this is actually shifting the center of gravity. So it's not going to have any risk of you tipping over because okay. the center of gravity is like going to be really back behind. So it's very safe. It's too. very safe, yes. All right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Let me get on. And, and also, we have two products here. So this okay. one is called Nightbot Air 215. It's uh, our, uh, you know, kind of commuter quick scooter. It's only 22 pounds. It's super lightweight. And it's really easy for you to kind of just take it with you. Basically, just like do this. And then it folds like this. Yeah, you can take it like this. Ah. So it'll be like, kind of like a dragon like it. Okay, Pretty so much. I can take it on the subway very yeah. easily. Yeah, of course. So it'll be like for people that are you know, doing daily commute for urban setting. Yeah. It also has regenerated brake system. So basically every time you're braking, it charges the battery. And then it has the smart kick system, has a lot of sensors. Once you kick, it's actually going to speed up, but at the same time, it's going to analyze the road condition and the environment and determine the best speed for you and go, you know, will study, to stabilize that speed for you. Okay, so yeah. that's pretty smart and also very safe. Right, actually when the innovation award uh, as all the VSES this year. Oh, in two categories. Okay. And also this one too, a winner award, and that's a robot scooter. 
So basically, it's, uh, it's called T60. And then it's semi-autonomous, saying that after the user, after the rider finished using that, it will basically drive a station. Wow. Yeah, and do what? All the data is going to be uploaded to the cloud system. So if the current traffic is dispatched, more kick scooters, the robo scooters, too, does it just keep the So it actually helps solve a lot Absolutely. And the reason why I'm telling that is because I have, I have spotted a pretty cool Right one is yeah. the direction from right. How we're going to move it over the ground? Backward, left, right. That's right. And the, uh, the DJI uh, Robo Master S1. I'm going to have to connect this to. We wait for the drone. Let me tell you something about the CS this year. 500 exhibitors launching nearly 20,000 new, 170,000 attendees. All right, Edward is back. Okay, now. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to interview you, Doris. So remember what I said. As you can see, so hovering in place and it's holding its altitude. Nice and easy, the way I was showing. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is... Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right, stop right there. Now what we're going to do is... Okay, so we're going to move the drone forward. All right, excellent. Oh, <laughs> That's all right. Uh, that was fine. That was fine. Hold on. Let's stop right there. Now, as you can see, everything that... It all gets fed immediately right into our app. So why don't we turn the camera back... Oh, look back at me. Us, Yay, we're here we are. at the CS DJI. Hey, everybody. See, it's not, not it's pretty intuitive, right? Yeah. It's pretty easy to fly. My fingers are trembling a little. <laughs> look, if we never, remember, look, if you don't touch anything, where's it going to go? Yeah. Nowhere, right? Pretty intuitive. Uh, what are you going to do first? You're going to bring it in for landing. So let's turn the drone 180 degrees so it's looking uh, So we're starting those things to, uh, to the uh, 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 fishing, you know, fish. They, they wanted to check what's going on. So I want to know if I land this tank here. What does it do? So this tank. So what if you have a you have a chance to actually experience it? It seems like. 